Hi there everyone, this is Dark Shadow 2 k 7 aka Shot Sky Sister back with another video. Yes, Thursday, I got nothing better to do. And also I spent I spent most of the, of this Thursday late night finally beating Mass Effect Andromeda. Ugh, thank God. That game oof. I didn't know I managed to beat that game, but what else? But that that's not about it. So remember that bullshit that's going down so remember the bloodstorm uh bullshit that's happening at ESPN? It's about to get fucking worse now. How? Because the national, because the NABJ is now stepping in. Oh boy, this is all. Awesome. This is gonna be so fucking funny. I mean, this on Fox News because why not, right? <laughs> the na the NABJ demands ESPN and Disney meeting over Rachel Nichols' remarks. Lack of accountability. I mean, there are some places that has a lack of accountability, but let's focus on the SVN and Disney because they have been, that sh yeah, the lack of accountability, yeah, it's been lacking in that fucking department. NBA reporters' critical comments about her colleagues surfaced in the New York Times on Sunday. <clears throat> Time to get my serious voice in. <clears throat> the National Association of Black Journalists NABJ demand a meeting with Disney and ESPN amidst the explosive drama between personalities Rachel Nichols and Maria Taylor. The, N the NABJ accused ESPN of trying to sweep Nichols' comments heard in a leaked video recording in to the New York Times under the rug and feared the ordeal could have alienated Taylor. Nichols is white, Taylor is black. Are you surprised? <clears throat> The NABJ board of directors is disturbed to learn the details of the situation and what appeared to be a lack of accountability and a desire by ESPN to provide accommodations for a white employee who marked diversity as well and a well qualified co worker while seemingly ignoring how Taylor and others who later heard the conversation may have been affected. NABJ President Dorothy Tucker said in a press release. The silence and apparent inaction by ESPN leaders over the last year is deafening, and as a result, NABJ is requesting a meeting with Bob Ager, the executive chairman of the Walt Disney Company, which owns ESPN, Bob Chapek, CEO of the Walt Disney Company, and Jimmy Pertaro, chairman of ESPN. The, MB the NABJ said in recent said it recently it received a statement from ESPN in which the company was focused on making diversity and inclusion top priorities. Yeah, even I call bullshit on that. We are proud to lead the sports media industry in making significant progress to develop and place diverse, diverse talent on air and in key leadership positions. An ESPN spokesperson said, diversity, inclusion, and equity are the top priorities at ESPN. There's that word equity again. We recognize more work needs to be done and we will continue our commitment to to creating a culture that reflects our values. Our partnership with N NABJ is an integral part in that commitment. The NABJ said the statement failed to address Nicholas' behavior and the fallout. Nicholas' daily afternoon NBA program, The Jump, was not seen on the network on Tuesday as the criticism of her and the company grew louder. Later Tuesday, ESPN replaced Nicholas on the sideline of the NBA Finals with the seed on ABC with Malika Andrews, who is black. Nicholas has been the sideline reporter in the Orlando bubble for last season's NBA Finals. The jump in Nicholas returned to ESPN daytime schedule after a one-day hiatus on Wednesday. The New York Times clip shows Nicholas complaining that Taylor's getting him the gig. She was talking to LeBron James advisor Adam Mendelson and was unaware she was on Jesse was being recorded. I wish Maria Taylor all the success in the world. She covers football. She covers basketball, Nicholas said. If you need to give her more things to do because you are feeling the president of your crappy long-time record on diversity, which, by the way, I know personally from the female side of it, like, go for it. Just find it somewhere else. You are not going to find it from me or taking my thing away. 
I just want them to go somewhere else. It's in my contract, by the way. This job is in my contract in writing. Nicholas did apologize on ESPN's jump on Monday and was defended by co-hosts Kendra Perkins and Jeffrey Richardson in the process. So, the first thing they teach you in journalism school is don't be the story. And I don't plan to break that rule today or distract from my fantastic from a fantastic finals, Nicholas said. Yes, <clears throat> yes, as you may know, that's the rule with journalism in journalism school. Don't be co don't be part of the story. Uh, apparently, John Acosta and the idiots at at CNN is telling them they tend to break that rule religiously when Trump was in office. More on that later. But I also don't. But I also don't want to let this moment pass without saying how much I respect, how much I value our colleagues here at ESPN. I am deeply, how deeply to be sorry I am for disappointing those I hurt, particularly Maria Terra, and how grateful I am to be part of this outstanding team. <laughs> Nicholas initially joined ESPN in 2004 and was a regular on the NBA, on the, on the Network's flagship show, Sports Center, as well as the NFL and NBA shows. She left ESPN for CNN in 2013 and was and was seen doing sideline reporter for TNT's NBA broadcast from 2013 to 2016. She rejoined ESPN in 2016. Her husband's stepmother is Diane Sawyer. Sawyer, yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm. Taylor had, had primarily been seen on ESPN coverage of college football since joining the company in 2013. She started hosting NBA Countdown in 2019. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, like I said, it's not, like, I mean, if you want my honest, really honest opinion, ESP, I, this whole thing, did the ESPN want swept under the rug? Oh, no, it's not going anyway, pimp. It's not going anyway. The bloodbath is goddamn legendary, and now you got, and now you got the in, and now you got the National Association of Black Journalists on your ass. <laughs> oh my God, you God, you are so fucked. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man! I really hate to be in there, Suze. No, seriously, I really hate to be in there, Suze. Suze, it's really funny, but like I said, you hate to see it. Oh wait, no. If you hate CNN, you love to see it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Like I said, this old shit, it ain't going, it ain't going away. That's for damn sure. It's not gonna go away. I know that for a fact, and they're gonna. Be and it's going to get a lot more worse for ESPN before it can get even fucking better. But I would like to know what your two cents on the whole thing is. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notifications bell so you don't miss another update. Send your friends, share your name, share your significant others, and that's about it. And uh, I want to know, I did my serious voice. I, I want to know, do, does it sound, do I sound like a white guy when I did that? I mean, I, I want to know what what's your two cents on them because you know, yes, I'm black, but for some reason when I, but <clears throat> but for some reason when I talk like this, I do sound like a white guy. So I wonder, would you like this voice if I do serious stories like this, or any other stories like this? Please let me know. <laughs> Until next time. This is Dark Shadow 2K7, a.k.a. Shadow Sky Station. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. And don't forget, Game 2 of the NBA Finals starts tonight at 9 o'clock on ABC. The Phoenix Suns lead the series one game to nothing. And the Suns are hoping to win Game 2 so they can be up two games to none. While the Milwaukee Bucks try to even this series tonight so when they head back to Milwaukee, the series will be tied 1-1 apiece. And that is all. God bless you all. And fuck you, ESPN.